Good afternoon. I'm Dennis Ward with a look at what our APTN National News reporters are working on. We begin in Caledonia where it was a quiet day at the 1492 land back camp. Despite heavy police presence and with the weather turning colder, long-term plans are being put in place. Here's Annette Francis with the latest. Hi, Dennis. I just want to give you a, a view of, of the area here in Six Nations, Caledonia. If you look up the down the road here is where the police barricade is, where the bus is, and um, over this way is the six by six land back camp. That's the support camp. And if you come this way, just up this road, about a half mile, is the land back lane camp. Um, inside the camps, people are um, are setting in for the long haul. They're preparing for the colder weather coming. And uh, we spoke with spokesperson Skylar Williams this morning about the supports that the camps have received and what's happening there. And he told us this. Uh, so, yeah, here we are at day uh, 101. So it's been uh, another bit of, you know, great community support. Seeing people from all over the place come out to, you know, support us all here. Uh, we've seen the NDP uh, come out with... Uh, Matt Green uh, from Hamilton Centre come out with a uh, new campaign to see uh, increments of 1492 donated to the legal fund in the camp. So, you know, it's been an amazing go to last, uh, you know, 100 days now. It's been, it's amazing. Further north, our Kent Driscoll has been visiting some Nunavut communities. Here's what he'll be showing you later this week. I'm Kent Driscoll. And I'm here in beautiful Rankin Inlet, Nunavut. Rankin Inlet is the second largest community in the territory and is the hub for Nunavut's central Kivalik region. It also has a claim to fame. Some of the best hockey in the territory is played right here. We'll be checking in on a week-long hockey camp recently held for young Rankin residents. And we'll take a look at the legend who hangs over every hockey game here. Number 22 himself, Jordan Tutu. That's coming soon, right here on APTN National News. We've got more snow in Winnipeg than that. Actor, producer, director Jennifer Podemski is our guest on an all new episode of Face to Face tonight. Podemski talks about her frustration when she first started out with the lack of Indigenous people in front and behind the camera. It doesn't seem like uh, people believe that there's an appetite for not just more Indigenous content, but more Indigenous faces on television. Uh, we still hear that a lot, you know, and I think that that is a, a huge issue that needs to be addressed. There's absolutely no reason why our television uh, set, uh, screens and all screens and all media that we consume should not be inundated with Indigenous faces and Indigenous voices. There is no reason for it, and that's the direction that we should all be focused on, you know, on going together. And you can catch that episode of Face to Face right after the APTN National News. For updates anytime, you can download the APTN News app or go to aptnnews.ca. I'm Dennis Ward. We'll see you tonight at APTN, on the APTN National News at 6 Eastern and Mountain Time.